Awesome. Speaking of those original paper designs, you've been uh, so kind to dig into the archives and give us a few of those, which I think a lot of us are going to be seeing for the first time if we want to switch over to uh, some of these map designs oh. and talk a little bit about how midship <laughs> changed and, and some of these maps changed from the paper design. So th this one, uh, this one's a lot of fun. This is midship and uh, this is actually, midship is the very first map that I ever designed, like put pen to paper and designed, um, which is, th this is, uh, this is Chris Carney's version of, he took it over and uh, redid my layout, but this was Chris Carney's version of the layout and it, it, midship is just blows my mind that it became so popular. I think. I think it became one of the most popular among all the uh, competitive players also. Yeah, it was the only map, I think, in Halo history to serve every tournament game type. So free-for-all, oddball, king of the hill, assault, slayer, yep. uh, everything. So it's, uh, yeah, it became pretty universal. When I, when I was working on uh, midship originally, I had this, uh, my spec called for, basically I wanted to have a two-on-two -two CTF map because I figured, all right, we're going online, but there's going to be a bunch of people who still don't have the internet back then. This was a while ago. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, I was like, all right, but CTF is so much fun, and I'd love for people just playing four-way split screen to be able to play a CTF game. So I'm going to do a two-on-two -two CTF map. So the basic idea on this map was that you'd have two flags uh, basically across a chasm looking at each other, and they were so close that the, the guy, the one guy goes on offense, one stays on defense, and the guy that's back there on defense can still participate on offense, so he can lob grenades across, he can still shoot, um, shoot across. Yeah, and that's, this is pretty close to what the final map ended up as, and we did this like two years before the game shipped, actually. That's awesome, and we've also got, um, also got an early ascension, which similarly, similarly to midship, does look um, a bit different just in terms cool. of the map layout. This was actually a rework of Ascension, because uh, Ascension, which uh, we're showing off here, and uh, turned out to be a really popular map, Ascension almost got cut, because when we first did Ascension, it was really not any fun. Um, they had a similar problem to Lockout, which is that every, all of the traffic routed through that dish in the middle, and there was no way to get to any of the uh, three satellites without going through that dish. So the map just wasn't working. So th this is actually my drawing when I got my hands on it, and I was proposing some changes to kind of make it work and adding these uh, peripheral lower has around the outside, which weren't there originally. Um, the, the leap of faith was, uh, real, you know, you can see, I wanted to have this spot where you jump down. If you look up in the left, you see it says fog right there. Yeah. Some awesome drawings. Nice fog. So, <laughs> the I idea like was for the leap of faith, actually, that you'd run up and you'd look down and all you would see was a bank of fo fog, and then you just have to jump down through the fog and hope you landed it. So that was what that was uh, <laughs> indicating. So yeah, this one, yeah, after we made these changes, it uh, t totally turned around the map, so uh, got a lot better. And this, this, uh, this next one that we're gonna go to right after this slide is I think a last minute edition. We just got this paper design in this morning and I'm sure it's also uh, a fan favorite. Oh, Zanzibar. <laughs> so Z Zanzibar, Zanzibar is kind of interesting, and, and just a side note, this panel's interesting for me because th these guys all have uh, stuff they're talking about about the product, and they just asked me to come here and reminisce about Halo 2 development days, so this is kind of fun. Um, Zanzibar was really interesting. What happened with uh, Zanzibar is um, after w we did an E3 where we showed off uh, single player New Mombasa, and then the following year, um, about maybe two months before E3, uh, the uh, Pete Parsons and Jason Jones came to me and they said, hey Max, we, uh, we have a problem. We're, the single player is so on fire, we have so many problems, we can't afford to spend any time working on anything for E3 for the campaign. So we need you to show off something multiplayer for E3. So uh, I was, uh, okay, sure. So I said, all right. We started looking at what we had and we realized that we really didn't have anything that we thought was sexy enough for E3. So we kind of scrambled. Um, all of a sudden, we had a bunch of additional resources to make something. So we sort of scrambled. And this is the, the paper design for Zanzibar that we did. Um, and we built it this whole thing start to finish in less than two months, specifically for E3, with all the crazy dynamic elements and all that stuff. None, none of those features were supported up to that point. All the dynamic lighting from the wheel turning, all that stuff we crammed in at the last minute. Um, took it to E3 and had it playable. Um, and we had a great show. And one of the reasons for that one of the things that I really wanted to do with Halo was really focus on adding game modes that were round-based, uh, sort of single objectives, so like single flag CTF, single bomb assault, that sort of thing. Um, so we looked at it and we said, this is a kind of fun game mode, but we don't have a map that's really designed around, you know, around this kind of round-based single objective. Um, so that's where we came up with Zanzibar and really kind of went to town on it. Um, so yeah, this is nice. cool. Awesome. Thank you, Max.
Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Your support is greatly appreciated. I cannot stress that enough. Thanks for watching.